I want to talk to the would-be artist out there, okay? I didn't start painting until I was 57 years old. I loved art, and I didn't think I had any talent whatsoever. I mean, in the beginning, everybody struggles. So don't give up when you struggle. Keep, keep painting. Art can be taught. Uh, the only requirement to become a good artist is to have the passion. I have taught so many people locally that had so much talent within them and that they didn't even know. When I was in high school, I told my art teacher that I was thinking about doing something in the art field as a profession. She took me off to the side and said, Linda, I don't think that's a very good idea. Me thinking financially, because it's so difficult to make money in the beginning. And she said, I'm going to be really honest with you. She said, you have absolutely no talent whatsoever. I believed her. I did not pick up a brush from the time I was 17 until I was 57. And I was working at Rite Aid Corporation at the time. And one of my associates came in with a bunch of watercolors under her arm. She talked me into taking a watercolor class. That was when I was 57 years old. The first painting I did was God awful. I thought, I can't paint, but I had a good teacher. And my teacher told me, Linda, just keep coming back. The more I came back, the more passion I had for it. I took an early retirement at 59 and started painting full time. Within two years of painting full time, I started teaching. Now I teach up and down the East Coast. I started out as a, a realistic watercolorist and I was quite successful. But I didn't have that, I didn't have that inner feeling that was being fulfilled. So I did nothing but abstracts for a number of years. And I became known in the Harrisburg area as an abstract artist. But that realism started edging back in. So what I'm doing now is I'm doing impressionistic landscapes and seascapes with cold wax and oil or acrylic. I don't look at a photo. Everything comes from, from within. I only choose my first color and then I start painting. I do mostly emotional work. Uh, these two paintings over here on the edge, over, over here, those two neutral paintings, they were done uh, when the Ukraine war started out. And I was so upset with the Ukraine war and I felt like I had to get it out. I did six large abstract paintings based on the Ukrainian war. And I don't know how I painted them, uh, my emotions painted them. As I, as I was painting, I was crying and I was just throwing paint and I was letting it out. Right after the uh, Ukrainian wars began, maybe three months, a gentleman came in with a younger woman. She came in the door with him, looked at the, two, the four paintings I had hanging and just started sobbing. And my husband was here at the time, I wasn't here, and he, he said, what's, what's wrong? And the man said that she was a Ukrainian refugee. And as soon as she walked in and saw those paintings, she was able to let, let all of it out. And in every one of the paintings, I have a cross. But you have to look for the cross, but there's a cross in every one of them. Uh, they're mixed media paintings. There's a lot of cardboard and paper and wire and things like that in it, where it represented the crumbled down buildings. When you paint non-objectively or abstract, you're not painting anything. You're painting an emotion. You want someone to look at it and feel it. This video was produced for Mosaic by WITF. To help support this project, please visit WITF.org mosaic.